It's getting creepy. It's getting freaky. It's time to watch some SCPs. That's right. We're here with more SCP content. <laughs> As we deep dive through SCPs and checking them out. Today, we are here with SCP-1048. And it's another Vulcan video. So, hey, support the original video. Link to the description below. But while you're here, I upload two videos every single day. I do reactions. I do gaming. And I hope you stick around. Hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm. Why? And uh, let's get into it. Uh, wheel, 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 wheel. Trigger warning. Don't know what trigger it is, but like, you know. Just whenever it comes to SCPs, man, I'm going to be real with you. Just all the triggers, man. Just be careful. A lot of these stories can get really dark and really fucked up. Same thing applies to like a lot of stuff like creepy pastas and stuff like that too. Also do the same thing. So, like, just, you know, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. One of the best things I can say to you right now is um, if you ever feel uncomfortable going to watch a video of mine, but you want to support the channel, just watch a different video. It's fine. You do not have to feel obligated to watch every one of my videos. I have a lot of gameplay stuff, a lot of gaming stuff that's usually pretty safe to watch. I don't really play any crazy ass games. Uh, also, I got, like, a lot of really wholesome videos and stuff. Like, I do, like, a lot of, like, animation reactions, too. So, hopefully that helps you out. But, hey. Let's get into it. Good afternoon. It's a teddy everyone. bear. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're Hi, going Dr. to be Miller. looking Hi. at today oh. is SCP-1048. Object class, Keter, formerly safe. Special containment procedure. It used to be safe? <laughs> Formerly safe? <laughs> the following sentence was stricken from the official document. Okay. SCP-1048 is currently free to roam Site-24, as it poses no threat and has been observed to greatly improve the morale of personnel that interact with it. The whereabouts of SCP-1048... Sorry, just one second, one second. Chat, <laughs> you don't need to say sorry, it's okay. What you need to say sorry for is showing me the aristocrats, SCP. Because that one was fucked. <laughs> That's the one you guys should be saying sorry for. All right? Thank you. <laughs> 48 are currently unknown, though it is still believed to be somewhere in Site-24. Subject is to be secured for containment, but any creation of scp 1048s should be destroyed on site, oh, site unless further evidence warrants less extreme actions. No teddy bears are allowed into Site-24 to prevent any confusion or mistaken identity. Is it fucked up if I go grab my teddy bear right now? Any object that resembles a teddy bear is to be reported to the security team immediately. This is not a joke. We have no idea what SCP-1048's full capabilities are. Okay. Who knows how many of the damn things are out by now? Dr. Carver. Description. SCP-1048 is a small teddy bear, approximately 33 centimeters in height, through testing, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities that make it discernible from a non-sapient teddy bear. Okay. Subject is capable of moving of its own accord and can communicate through a small range of gestures. The subject regularly shows affection to individuals in ways found endearing by most Wait, people. Wait, that's so cute! That's awesome! Affection is usually given in the form of a hug to the lower leg, but <gasps> subject has also been observed dancing, jumping in place and in two separate events, has even drawn childlike pictures for janitorial staff. Wait, that is so fucking cute! <gasps> he just hugs you like, good, hi, hi. I dance. I dance. I dance. I draw pictures. <laughs> All Foundation personnel that have interacted with the subject have responded positively to its affection even D-class with normally sociopathic tendencies. Oh my god! Dude. Attempts at direct communication oh. with SCP-1048 have not been considered successful. Though it is capable of simple gestures to indicate a yes or no answer, oh. it will often not react to lines of questioning concerning its nature or where it originated from. <laughs> it is not known if this is because SCP-1048 simply does not know the answers or because it does not want to answer. Oh, that's interesting. Though capable yeah. of drawing pictures, it has not used its art as a form of communication beyond showing affection, even when encouraged to do so. But this, it's, li it's like, listen, I'm a positivity bean. I like to dance, give hugs, say yes and no, and, and draw happy, positive pictures. And you know what? 
Fair enough. Fair enough. The more anomalous behavior of SCP-1048 was not observed until approximately seven months after it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials oh? by a process that is yet to be observed directly by Foundation staff. Dr. Carver has suggested that SCP-1048 uses its endearing qualities to lull those around it into a false sense of security allowing it to collect materials to produce these creations. Currently, It got me, chat. It got me. I know it's a Keter class, but it got me. I was out here calling it cute, saying how sweet it is. It got my ass. I was lulled into a false sense of security. Oh, shit. There are three known creations of SCP-1048 designated SCP-1048-A, B, and C. The nature of these creations has been in stark contrast to SCP-1048's general behavior, as all have exhibited extreme violence towards humans. SCP-1048-A SCP-1048-A was discovered wandering Site-24, accompanied by SCP-1048. Okay. Subject resembles a teddy bear similar in size and shape to SCP-1048, but is made entirely out of human ears. <laughs> Witnesses interviewed reported that it appeared SCP-1048 was giving a tour of Site-24 <laughs> to SCP-1048-A. Dr. Carver was called to the scene, along with the security team. The security team arrived first and attempted to contain SCP-1048-A. Subject emitted a high-pitched shriek that inflicted intense pain in the eyes and ears of everyone within a 10 meter radius. Ear-like growths immediately began growing on those within 5 meters of the subject, covering their bodies in less than 20 seconds. But wait, if we take the ear-like growths, we can make more bears. <laughs> Every person afflicted with this symptom died within three minutes, oh, okay. resulting in death personnel, including the entire security team. Autopsies revealed the cause of death to be asphyxiation caused by an abundance of ear-like growths, manifesting in the mouths and trachea of all victims. SCP-1048 and SCP- Hey baby girl, let me suck on that earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> 1048A fled the scene before Dr. Carver arrived and have not been contained since the incident, though sightings of both have been reported on multiple occasions. Shortly after this incident occurred, a researcher was discovered missing an ear. According to him, it was removed through unknown means while he was sleeping. No other victims of ear removal were found. So it oh. is unclear if SCP-1048 obtained more ears from another source, or it is capable of duplicating objects or materials. Oh, it seems more it's like it's sampling by getting one of the object or material. I, I believe in the duplication. I think it's using whatever it, the material sources as like a SCP-1048-B. As a mm. Subject was discovered by several Foundation staff members in the cafeteria of Site-24 on... Subject's appearance was nearly identical to SCP-1048, but it moved in an irregular, jerky manner. Do the jerk, I know. You a jerk, I know. You a jerk, 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 jerk. You a jerk, I know. You a jerk, I know. You a jerk, jerk, jerk. It's a dance. It's a dance. It's a dance. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a dance. <laughs> but it appeared as if something was moving inside of SCP-1048-B. Subject made no attempt to interact initially until a burst in its seams revealed what appeared to be the hand and arm of a human infant poking out and grasping the air. Oh. At the sight of this, a female researcher named Screen and SCP-1048-B reacted by emitting a high-pitched cry similar to that of a human infant. Oh, no. The subject then attempted to the screaming researcher, causing massive internal damage. In the ensuing chaos, a security team was forced to both the researcher and SCP-1048-B. Approximately three hours after this incident, Dr. was found unconscious and bleeding in her office. 
An abortion had been performed on her while she was sleeping. Oh! And they. Oh! Oh! What? 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 I was just dancing and doing the jerk dance. Like one sentence before it started going into this shit. How we get here? What happened? Oh my god. I was like, oh my god, lighten up the mood a little bit, get goofy, start dancing. A baby's arm busted itself out of the bear's chest. And then we found the woman. Getting fucking abort- JESUS! Eight-month-old fetus was never found. Oh! It is hypothesized that SCP-1048 used Dr. Fucking's unborn child to create SCP-1048-B. Oh, who thinks this Information regarding the possible origin of SCP-1048-B is not to be leaked to the survivors currently undergoing therapy for the incident with SCP-1048-B. I need therapy! As Dr. Carver believes, oh! it would be extremely detrimental to the oh! recovery. SCP-1048-C Subject resembles a teddy bear, similar to SCP-1048, but composed entirely of rusted metal scraps. Subject was first sighted up by Dr. Carver in his office while writing up a report on the SCP-1048-B incident. Subject fled the room when it noticed Dr. Carver observing it. Y'all are some fucking dickheads. I look over- Still think it's cute now? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> All right, I was having a great time with this cute bear, okay? Fuck all of y'all. I was having so I was having a bear CP. <laughs> I thought, ooh, Ketter class. It's going to be like a little teddy bear with like a butcher knife or something, right? Maybe he like is obsessed with not- Ming, Come here, kids! Like starts like stitching up like the researcher's body parts or something. I didn't think it was like, oh yeah, I'm going to abort your fetus and like make entities out of it and like- Oh, Jesus Christ. God. You know, I thought... Ugh. In the attempted pursuit of SCP-1040... Genu genuinely, when I went into this, I thought it was going to be like Ted. You know, like, the teddy bear movie Ted? I thought it was going to be like that shit. <laughs> so I was like, my, my interpretation of just, like, the title and the picture... I was like, okay, Ketter class. So he's like lethal, but I thought it was going to be like that. But I was like, oh, he's cute. What the fuck, right? Oh. Uh, uh. HC, Dr. Carver witnessed the death and maiming of Foundation personnel as the subject exhibited extreme violence during its escape. SCP 1048C has not been encountered since this initial sighting, and it is unknown whether it still resides somewhere within Site 24. The origins oh. of any materials possibly used to construct SCP-1048-C by SCP-1048 okay. are also unknown at this time. Addendum 1048-1 SCP-2295 is similar but nearly antithetical in function to SCP-1048. Attempts to establish a common origin are ongoing. Sorry, what is... Uh, give me one second, let me just look that up. Uh, SCP, I don't know their numbers, so 2295. Uh, I don't know this one. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that one. We could do it next. Sure, yeah. Extreme caution is to be taken if SCP-1048-A or SCP-1048-C are encountered again. I cannot stress this enough. The damn thing jumped right through those poor people. Dr. Carver. Well, that's not creepy. <laughs> okay, that's The uncomfortable about does laugh is really today. great. That's good voice Thank acting. Thank you all for listening. Uh, and you're all dismissed. Thanks for dismissing us. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, that shit's fucked up, man. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Dude, that one was fucked.
fucked. Oh, Alicia's uncomfortable. Alicia's very uncomfortable. Oh. I I don't even Oh. Do I gotta kill my teddy bear before it gets me? Be real. Does I kill my teddy bear before it gets my ass? I don't trust it no more. <laughs> that motherfucker might be trying to get to get to me. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Alicia's paranoia escalates the further we go into more SCPs. Stay tuned for more. Also, check out the link to the description of this original video. Please support the original. And hey, while you're here, support me too. Don't forget to stick around the channel. Hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to wash your ass. We'll catch you later. Bye.